Hi guys, welcome back to the Bitter Betty podcast. I'm Bitter Betty Carol with an E. I'm here with my two cohorts today. Bitter Betty Tova. Bitter Betty Deadhead. And we are back with some more Dan Basque, you guys. So uh, we were scrolling through and I saw this, my mother told me, like the song of the Vikings. Okay, so I love Viking music. So I bought like had a coronary when I saw it and I was like, wait, wait, guys, wait, wait, <laughs> go back, go back. So anyways, here we are because, you know, Carol probably would have had a damn tizzy fit if we couldn't have done this damn song today. So uh, <laughs> here we are back with some more uh, damn Basque, you guys. Let's get it. My mother told me Someday I would buy Galley with good horse Sail to distant shores Stand up on the prow Noble born Kai steer Steady course to the haven Humany foemen Humany foemen my mother told me someday I would buy Gally with good horse, sail to distant shores, stand up on the prow, noble bork I steer, steady course to the hay. Did y'all see the one picture? No. Okay, in the the when they did the, the six the six uh, pictures, you know, the one at the uh -huh, bottom uh -huh. in the middle bottom one, his hair is either like back or it was put up mm -hmm. i don't know it was the only one that was different out of all of them <laughs> mm. i didn't even notice and then like i, I think notice. it's i think it's really really badass when you can do a song like that and do play all the parts and put it together like that i think that's pretty awesome yeah so what i appreciated was that he kept some of the original like um, almost like with a lot of the Viking music, they have like that really low mm -hmm. register, you know, mm -hmm. with that like growl, you know what I mean? 
And, like, I like that he kept that true, but then he did the verse again, like, because the song is a lot of just repeating of the same verse over and over again, almost like a chant. So, like, <clears throat> the fact that he did that more like this singing voice, mm -hmm. like, with that Dan Mask lovely scream that we get, like, I don't know, I, I freaking love it, but I also really like that type of music, so... Um, yeah, you know, my kids will be in the car and one of the songs will come on. They're like, what the hell are you actually <laughs> listening to? I'm like, look, mind your business. Okay. Mind your business. Yeah. Um, mind your business. Yeah. And like, that's Peyton Parrish. I can see on the screen and yeah. I believe he's, he's getting ready to go on tour. And I, I really like must look into going to see Peyton Parrish because yeah, uh, definitely. he's, He's actually going to be oh. at Ink Carceration. Didn't That's we talk about this? Be. We talked oh, about okay. this, right? That he was doing Let It Go. He never could find it. <laughs> no, it was uh, the. I thought Dan, somebody told me Dan Bass did it. But it was oh, Dan okay. Yeah. Oh, Peyton okay. Parrish did it, yeah. But um, but yeah, Peyton Parrish is going to be at Ink Carceration, um, which is actually being he it's actually held every year at Mansfield Prison. That's now like closed down. Um, oh, okay. it's like a very notorious prison here in Ohio. Um, so, uh, yeah, I might, I might buy a ticket to incarceration just to go see Peyton Bear. So, yeah. um, so, hey, Dan, if you want to go to incarceration, um, yeah. in Ohio, it's going to be in Mansfield and it's this summer. So, you know, I, I I'd love to see you there too. I'll definitely <laughs> buy a ticket. Yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, probably in reverse did incarceration. Yep. I know. So did Five Finger Death Punch. There's there's quite a few of name name like yeah. the bands, like band big names. Do you remember the uh, or well there was, I think it was it might have been the same one. I think it was the same one where uh, Ronnie was like they kept doing the the fake like clapping and he'd be like, what <laughs> yeah. is that uh, the video? I think that was an interview from Incarceration. That's hilarious. That's yeah. hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> so they call me from. <laughs> so you guys that was dan basque um and it definitely just didn't disappoint me because it's right up my alley of type of music so um i absolutely adored it uh make sure you guys uh like comment subscribe uh hit that bell notification bell so you're notified anytime the buddies uh drop something new or uh go live because we like to do that sometimes too and until the next one peace out